Today we're going to show you how to use eRecovery. And the purpose of eRecovery is to get the data file from an experiment that you have aborted. So first let's run an experiment. Make this subject 5, session 1. Okay. Yes. And let's say for some reason you need to abort the experiment early. You press Control Shift Alt. Select yes. And this runtime error will occur, and this occurs every time you abort an experiment early. You just press OK. And to find where all your e data aid files should be, you just go to the same file folder where your experiment file is. So here you see here's the experiment file. Here are eData8 files from previous runs of that experiment that were successful and complete. They each have an eData8 file and a text document file. And here is the one we just did, which because we aborted early does not have an eData8 file. And we want to get that. And to do that we use eRecovery. So go down to the start menu. Find eRecovery, progress dialog options, full, browse, and you select the text document of the experiment you want to recover, which would be perceptual matching, 5 1. Hit recover. It just tells you as many complete data records as possible from this text file were recovered. Press OK. Close. You go back to the file folder we were just at. You see here is the experiment file. Here are the other eData8 files. And here is the eData8 file we just recovered from this text document. Open it. And there you go. There's all your data from that aborted experiment.